just give you an overview of everything again <clears throat> so you already know what the dashboard is it gives you an overview of your website and everything now all this astra jetpack and opt-in mods that you are seeing on elementor and templates don't worry you will not see it in your site this is because these are the plugins i installed for the functionality of my site now before you start designing a website you must first determine what you are using the website for you must be sure of what you have in mind about that website because it is what you have in mind about that website that will not determine the, the how your website will look like that is the appearance of your website and also the kind of plugins you put in it now this website i am designing is a landing page that is why i installed astra which is the theme jetpack which is to streamline my website functionality and make it faster opt-in monster is more like um it's more like what i used to run email campaigns and the elementor is the website builder actually you have to install elementor on your web on your on your website so you can easy to design your website so now the next thing you see is post now this post is mostly relevant when you are this post is mostly relevant when you are dealing with a blogging site when you have a blogging site or you have some frequently asked questions for example you go to some site you see this help section where they were told they will now write something about the website and everything that is where this post comes into play a lot so beside that the post is not really that important then we have this media this media is like all the Im all the images all the videos that are in your website now these images and videos can be the one can be the one that comes with your theme which comes with your, when you install a theme it will come with it or it might be the one that you you put you download or upload into the website when you are designing the website i've explained that before now this is your pages now the pages are like the different parts of the website you communicate with when you try to add a new page it looks like when you're trying to design a um, what are they calling when you're trying to design a normal post yeah it looks similar to it but it's not page are like you interact with the pages like you can perform multiple functions on the pages like you can click on the button on the page you can watch a video on the page and all those kind of things so we're going to how to edit the page for that videos then comments this comment section like i said is mostly functional when you're dealing with the wordpress website and all the rest if you're with the wordpress website that is when this comments comes into play a lot but if you're not dealing with we are dealing with the blogging site sorry dealing with the blogging site that's when they all come into play but if you're not dealing with the blogging site you don't really need them if i'm being honest with you and we also have appearance the appearance is how your website look like the themes and the rest for you now if you click on this stuff your own appearance is just show theme and editor theme file editor that is because you haven't installed anything me i have installed astra as my theme and i have installed the starter templates plugin that is why you are seeing these things then now you go to plugins you see plugins you see oh wait, what have i clicked on okay so in these plugins like i said i told you that plugins i will give functionality to your website now this is the astra installed in my theme so plugins are what give functionality to your website so i'll click on install plugins and you'll see the list of plugins i have they give functionality to your website that won't make your website functional the appearance are like the front end of your website the plugins that won't make your website functional now these are my plugins i installed now you've noticed there are very very few you don't need to install too much plugins and one thing you must ensure when installing plugins you must be sure that the plugins are compatible with each other because if you install plugins that are not compatible with each other, you end up breaking the site. So that's that. The users. In this, these users, you will see like users that are on your website. Now, by default, you only have one user, which is you, the admin. But if you want someone else to have access to your website, you can add a new user to your website. I will still provide different videos on all of that. This is just an overview so you can understand what this thing is. Then we have the tools. In these tools now you see a lot of tools you can use to do some specific things to your WordPress website. You can use to you can actually download your WordPress website into a file. You can import that's why you say export. You can import a designed WordPress website into another WordPress website and all of that. Then settings. In these settings, you go over the general settings where you have to make some general things. The 
on some general settings and some few other things like where you can how to write the discussing and permalinks and privacy this privacy you have to describe like write out your terms and your privacy policies and all the rest then collapse menu you already know what it does it will make the menu look like this so yeah so i think it should be an overview of everything